We live here in the south, so it's really tough sometimes to find sheds because especially during the winter months, all the acorns are eaten up and so there's not a lot of food sources. Um, if you got any green fields, you know, that's where the deer are concentrating on. But I tell you something I did for the first time this year, man, it worked out pretty good. I probably had a couple hundred dollars into it, but I went and bought actually uh, quite a bit of corn. And I just used my regular fertilizer or cedar on my tractor here. And I just piled it up with shale corn. And literally, this was way well after deer season. In every open area, I I'm, I'm, uh, got this pecan orchard and I actually corned all of my food plots, all in the open areas, out into the areas where I knew that if they dropped, I could find them. And I actually just put corn here and spread it out, made it hard for them to, to eat, not in piles. And man, I had great luck, and I've had good luck this year picking up sheds because these deer are dropping out and open. Obviously, even in the winter months, they're still nocturnal, so it works pretty well. If you don't have a tractor with a spreader, I mean, you can get a little hand crank or just broadcast it, but even these areas in the south where it's wide open, maybe out in clear cuts, kind of, you know, get you several bags of corn. You know, if you can uh, put out 100 pounds and maybe a couple hundred pounds another time, over the period, I'd say between those January through February, March months, you'll start picking up those sheds. And it seems to me, it seems like those bigger bucks shed first. And um, we've had great luck this year. I picked up several nice sheds, you know, with this technique. And like I said, it costs a little bit of money, but if you're really trying to find sheds, especially in the South, which I think is one of the toughest places to find sheds, this is a trick that worked for me this year. First time I've tried it, I've heard about it, and it's worked.